Okay, we both have our coffee. It's it's early in the morning here. How are you? Doing great, doing great. Got my coffee going, like you said, and uh, just hanging out. So where are you in the world these days? I am currently in Pensacola, Florida. Uh, this was my wife's birthday yesterday and her family's from this area. So we always come down here and kind of hang out and see family and a little beach time and sun before OTA starts. So it works out perfect. So are you more of a beach guy or the mountains? Cause you spent a lot of time in Utah. Correct, yeah, I lived in Utah for 10 years. Um, personally, I'm more of a mountain person, but ever since I married Brandy, she's more of a beach person. So I, we're, we're kind of both now. Let's go. Congratulations on the contract extension. What was that like? I mean, each year you kind of go through that, you know, just tell me the emotions of, of kind of wondering what's gonna happen during free agency. One thing you have to learn is you can only control what you can control. And for me, that's snapping the football. That's literally the only thing I control in the NFL is how well I snap and how well I play. So that's the only thing that I kind of focus on because there has been off seasons in the past where you don't know and you're like, oh, do they want me back? Did I do enough good job? And you're like stressed. It could be extremely stressful for three months, four months until you figure it out. I did see the Scales family dance video after you signed. <laughs> when was that shot? <laughs> yes, that was that was that was like right when we found out we were coming back. Uh, Brady was like, "Let's do a reel," and I was like, "I've never done one. Let's do it." And uh, it took a couple takes, but I think we nailed it. I really we had fun with it. Okay, so off season. I mean, take us from you went from Chicago, and where'd you go after that? Down to Dallas. Family lives in Dallas. I uh, have a house down there and pretty much going to full-time dad mode at that point. My wife, Brandy, is a realtor down in Dallas. So she works during season, but also flies up for games and spends a week or two at a time in Chicago. But as soon as season ends, I'm just full-time dad mode. Go down, hang out, you know, take care of the kids, get my, get my family time in. Now, what's more difficult? The NFL schedule or the dad schedule? Dad schedule, 100%. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hats off to every mother and stay-at-home mother and working moms and everybody, everyone who's taking care of kids. It's a, it's a grind. <laughs> it's fun though, a lot of fun. Okay, so you're doing the dad thing. What else is keeping you busy? We kind of travel a little bit in the off season. Obviously, like that's our time to kind of relax and have fun and stuff. So we went back to Utah, back to the mountains. Are you a skier, snowboarder, anything like that? While growing up, that was always our family vacation was mountains and snowboarding. So I love snowboarding. That's, that's my jam. So you're looking forward to getting back? I mean, it, it is a whole new group of guys this year, more so than in past years. Yes, I am looking forward to get back, absolutely. Uh, my guy Cairo, we're still together. Um, he's so much fun to play with and he's a great pro. So looking forward to getting some work with him. Um, obviously, like you said, whole, almost a whole new roster and coaches and I'm excited to get in there and shake hands. and. Uh, it's, it's exciting. It's an exciting. It's like the first day of school again. You just kind of don't know what to expect, but you know what to expect. But um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. I do have to ask because I know you and Pat O'Donnell so close. How did he break the news to you that he was not going to be with the Bears anymore? I'd be lying if I said we weren't in cahoots like the whole time. Like, I was like, hey, if you hear from somebody, like, let me know. And if I hear, like, I'm going to let you know. <laughs> Obviously heartbroken. We played together for seven years. He was here in 2015 when I got signed. Uh, and he's one of my best friends. So sad that we won't be able to play together, but uh, we had a lot of fun and a lot of good memories. And so good to see him twice a year. It's just a short drive up the road, but exactly, exactly. proximity wise, it's good, but he couldn't have gone to any other team. Like, yeah, right? <laughs> Sheesh. Look at there she is. Hi. The rock star, Brandy. Hello. We were just talking about you. Pat was giving you all the credit for holding it down during the season. Nice. So the kids probably love having Pat home during the off season. They love it, but then like right as soon as like season's about to start, they get sick of him. Like it's like the perfect like right now they're they're, mag they're magnets to me for like almost the entire time, but like the last couple of weeks, they're kind of like, all right, dad, we're like, we're sick of your yeah. stuff. <laughs> they like are ready. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's football season, right? Okay. Yeah.